What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again with another video. Today, everybody, is going to be a very special video because today is something I've been waiting to get for over a year. This is a very belated Christmas present I got for myself. I will get into that in one second. I just want to get a few things off my chest, and that starts with the United States Postal Service. Now, for a lot of you who really do not know what's going on lately, uh, just keep in mind they are not run by the United States government anymore and haven't been for a while. They are privatized. So if you're wondering why your service is getting really crappy, why the rates keep going up is because they're, you know, a private entity. They're not run by the country anymore, which pretty much sucks, you know. So then again, you know, if you use FedEx, UPS, or DHL, whatever, either way you're going to lose. But uh, using the post service... Uh, postal service is just impossible these days. Uh, even trying to send out packages through trades, it's you know kind of a give and take. You know, I only try to send stuff out when I necessarily have to. I don't try to send stuff out a lot like I used to when I was younger. And you know, I will basically tell you why. Um, what my deal is with this. Uh, the package uh, that I'm going to be showing you right here, I got the notice this uh, last Wednesday, saying that you know it was going to be ready for me. Uh, I believe the next day, which, you know, I couldn't go. So a couple of days ago, I went to there before I went to work. They made me wait in line for a half an hour. Then when I finally get to the counter, uh, they went to go look for it. And apparently 15 minutes later, they said they couldn't find it, which was kind of mind-boggling that it is is there. So, you know, I was almost late for work for that. So come uh, this morning, I'm the second person online. I got there 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, was right there, not even two minutes. Uh, lady takes care of me, but then she's like, hold on a second, let me look for it. Fifteen minutes later, she can't find it. And I literally timed it on my phone. It was about a good 15 minutes. So apparently, when the package goes into my hand, I ask her, why did it take so long for you to look for it? That my name was misspelled. I looked at the, uh, at it, as I'm looking at it right here, and I looked at it, and I just started laughing. I showed her my ID, and I showed her the package I'm like does this look like anything is misspelled with this information and she couldn't really answer that it, it boggles my mind some of the idiocy that goes on within this uh, you know line of work to them it's a job but honestly if you're going to work take part of your work even if it's a crappy job do your job regardless you're getting paid so do it to the best of your ability because if you can't do something as simple as that you should not be working in that line of work anyway so Without further ado, people, let me show you what I got in the package here. Uh, I ordered this, I believe, uh, I think the day after Christmas I got this. So I've been wanting to get it for a long time. I already know what it is. Um, so right here is a little obvious little thing here if you don't know what it is. It is a EverDrive. Yes, I got the EverDrive from Crix from the Ukraine. So uh, let's uh, cut over to the desk. I'm going to give you a closer look at what the board looks like and I'm going to install it into a shell that I uh, kind of did myself and let's check it out. Okay everybody so without further ado let's check out the board itself here. So it's still in the packaging. Uh, just trying to find a right way of doing this without damaging the board so I just got to be very very careful. And here we go. So you know I mean I can understand that they sent it from the Ukraine and it could be a little bit better on the packaging just for the fact that it's a, uh, you know, a board and very fragile. So here is the board itself, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right there, if I can just focus in, you can see it's made by Crix. This is the website right there, Crix.com. They uh, made these boards firsthand. Uh, he did all these boards himself, so that's why there's a very limited quantity of them. Uh, when you order these, you actually have to uh, wait a little while for them for the fact that it also takes three weeks for shipping depending where in the world uh, you're ordering this from. And of course, this comes with a CR2032 battery, so of course for those games that uh, require a save. Uh, cool thing is too, uh, I believe you actually can uh, replace the battery. So when the battery uh, dies out, uh, you could switch it. Um, I'm personally not going to mess with this right now because something happens to it that would not make for a good video. But uh, yeah, this is you know basically the board itself. And this uh, reason why I wanted this was you could take pretty much every NES game and Famicom game into an SD card. And right here, as you can see, 
Uh, basically loaded all the uh, NES and Famicom games uh, library into this one SD card. Uh, it's 8 gig, but you don't really need no more than 2 gigs for this. So, of course, you pop it in here. And there you go. And that's pretty much it. But, um, you know, if you looked at my Facebook, I actually did a, a quick little mod to a, a donor shell for a very crappy game. Uh, no, it was not Duck Hunt. Um, it was, uh, I believe... Um, one of the parts of the case itself was cracked so i just used the bottom part of this uh, i took the dremel and just very carefully so often full focus you can see right here i just uh, shaved on the slot just enough work to fit the sd card so uh when you insert this in make sure this is the back side of it uh you have to uh see right here this is the bottom put a bottom side down where it says front side and just make sure, just very gently, uh, you match up the hole right there. And there you go, people. So all I got to do is just put it in. And there you go. So just to make sure that I got it all intact, just take the screws, put them in. And with the uh, help of an NES bit, just gonna take this little puppy. Gonna tighten it up good, but just be careful. Don't uh, screw it down all the way because you don't want to strip the bolts itself because that would really, really be a problem uh, for you to get back at the shell if you wanted to uh, replace it or fix it or do what you gotta do with it. So there you go. Um, See, it seems a little loose, but it's not a big deal for me, people, Um, because honestly, once I put this into my Nintendo, it's going to stay in there. Uh, so I'm going to show you the label itself right here. Of course, to apply it, it's got to go this way. So just take it very, very gently. Just line it up. very very slowly just do that and there you go it might be a little off center people but like I said it's not gonna matter once this is in the NES uh, it's gonna stay like that basically and there you go so uh, let me just uh, go back over to the other camera and just give you my thoughts on this well ladies and gentlemen after it's all said and done here's a finished product right here with that EverDrive and I'm so happy to get it and just the fact that I can play so many games at my disposal at one time is great. Mind you though, there are some games out there I still want to get, but of course if I can find them for a good price I will always grab them. Uh, to be quite honest, I can understand how some collectors will pay in the hundreds of dollars and even thousands for certain titles, but I'm not one of those collectors. Uh, not to knock them per se, but uh, just the fact to play games like Little Samson, which is a pretty good platformer, now I can play it on the EverDrive. Games like Devil World uh, for the Famicom, now I can play that on the EverDrive. So many great shooters and uh, certain platformers that were on the Famicom but were never released here in America, now I have access to that. Also, the fact that I can get my hands on specific homebrews, uh, developer games, um, demos prototypes you know it's endless and just the fact that i can play all of that here on this one cart at my disposal is a great thing and you know thank you very much everybody for uh, checking this out please feel free down the line um you know you can check me out over on facebook and on twitter uh if you have a game request you know for some game that you actually haven't seen you want to see how bad i can suck at it or just to get a first impression view feel free to Hit me up on one of those social networks and leave me a you know a suggestion and I'll try to see and check it out, see if it's worth playing and if so I'll probably play it and that's about it everybody. Thank you once again for watching. Feel free to check out some of my other content in the past and to all my new subscribers. As always, thank you for checking out my content and uh, everybody who's been over on both my social networking sites. Thank you for checking that out as well and I'm just surprised that you know finally. Both the uh, both the Twitter and Facebook accounts are starting to get a little more recognized, which is really cool because I'm just, you know, one average gamer. I'm nobody special. I'm not a big name out there. And, you know, I'm just an average person like a lot of you out there who watch this channel, watch everybody else's stuff, and vice versa. And that's it. Take care, everybody, and have a good night. Cheers.